Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Samantha. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and in this video I have two things to unbox for you guys. So the first thing I want to unbox is this beautiful Christmas present that I got from my friend Francesca. This was a part of my Christmas present so I did open everything else but I really wanted to save this so I could get my reaction. I already do know what it is and she got one for herself too and she showed me so stay tuned. I'm so excited. And then the next one I got from a giveaway and I can't believe I won. So if you guys don't know uh, Lux Lover on Instagram, she is a personal shopper and I happened to win her Christmas giveaway and I was the first one that she drew from that contest so I was so excited. Um, I'm gonna get started with the one that I got from my friend Francesca first. So I'm really excited because this is so beautiful, that gold and this detailing over here. And I'm gonna just start opening this. I'm kind of glad I saved these um, to open later on so then it feels like my Christmas is a little bit extended and I have more things to open. So this is what it looks like. It's like the moon and there's like a little shooting star which are made up of presents which is so cute. All this detailing and the dotting all around this box. And okay it's so cute. It's like this really nice dark felty color and it looks really nice on this box. It's the same finish as the ribbon actually and I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. <laughs> And they have like, you know, the scrunchy stuff in here. And here we have the Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Color 137 Pulpre d'Or, which I don't know the literal translation, but I already know it's that really dark, luscious color. So let's see. I actually, <laughs> I don't know why, but I actually forgot it looked like this, even though she showed me because I was so focused on reading this. But basically, she was at the boutique and there was an artist there. So she drew on these beautiful flowers. I'm gonna guess that they are cherry blossoms just because they're pink, but this is hand painted by an artist that was actually at that boutique. Um, I don't know who the artist is, but if I actually do recall or Francesca knows, I'll leave it down in the description below. But look how beautiful this hand painted case is. So I'm going to open it and show you guys the color. So there's the logo there and the little sticker that says what color it is. And it's this really dark maroon kind of color. It's so beautiful. It's definitely something out of my comfort zone because it's so dark, but I actually recently did try on some more of the maroon colors for Christmas and the fall season, and I really, really did like it a lot. So I'm really excited to use this really dark color and to see how it goes with my outfits because my outfits are a little bit more, I guess, lighter, and they tend to be like a little bit more blush pink, but I do also have some other stuff like blacks that I think this would look really well. So I'm super excited with this and this is so beautiful. I already knew that it was gonna be like this but for some reason when I was unboxing it or opening it, I like briefly forgot but this is so beautiful. There's like little glitter specks on it and it kind of has a little texture to it because it is a little bit like three dimensional and I just can't believe that she managed to like get an artist to do this while she was there. I think it just was so perfect timing and so sweet of her to get one for me as well because she was there. So I'm going to have to leave this in my room somewhere where I can see obviously with COVID we're not going out or anything so I can't really take this out with me. But I am so in awe of this and you guys know my favorite color is pink. So this is just so beautiful and I'm so excited to use this especially when we can all go out again and everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna open this one and I'm going to be really careful, so bear with me for this unboxing. I really want to maintain all like, you know, the ribbons, the packaging and everything like that on this. So here we have a little Amelia as well, except it's like a flat piece of paper and it's printed, it's very shiny. So I'm just gonna undo this first. And of course this is a white wrapping paper with also specks like stars and it's gold all around it. This is like opening your first Chanel bag and the tissue paper you really want to maintain it, so that's how it feels right now for me. Okay, I'm back with this to make my life so much easier. And 
I'm just basically cutting where the tape is to be as careful as possible. So this actually came from the States and it came really quickly within like two days, I would say, which I'm so surprised. So I have actually been waiting to open this just so I can open it in front of you guys. Um, two Chanel packages. So, whoa. Okay, it's very glisteny and look at the back of this wrapping paper. It's so shiny and glossy. And, okay. I already see the box, so I, I know what it is, but I didn't know it before. I just know it was Chanel Cosmetics. So I've taken it all off and look at this beautiful box. It's literally like um, this one as well, except it's the black version of this. And the same thing with the shooting star of the presents on the side. So it says here, Sheer Sensation Lip Gloss Trio. So that's how I know what it is, but I really didn't know before. And let's see. Okay, so, and I got the black makeup pouch. It's so glittery and a lot bigger than I thought. I don't know if you guys can see the texture through the camera, but it's a little bit rough, kind of like little ribbons on it, but it's very tiny and it's a lot more sparkly in person, but I'm surprised I got the black one. I don't know why I thought it was going to be red, but I really do like this. And there are people that are putting like chains on the side and wearing it as a purse. I don't know if I would do that because the material is kind of scratchy. I can just feel like I wear tights and leggings a lot, so I can definitely feel myself getting this texture stuck on my pants. I don't know. But yeah, that would be really cute. I actually do have chains and I can do that myself. So I'm gonna open it. I actually didn't know I was gonna get lip gloss. I thought it was gonna be like other, like a bundle of stuff, but okay. So I wanna take everything out. So there's nothing left in this bag and there's no pockets or anything. It's just a full on makeup bag and I really like this. I don't have anything like this at all. And of course it's Chanel. So I can definitely use this to keep all my Chanel products as well. So this is the first one. And I have this pinkish glittery lip gloss and this one's called Rouge Coco Gloss 119 and it says made in France as well on the bottom. That is really cool. So um, this is the first one and I'm gonna open the second one. And this is a little bit more of a nude finish. So this is the first one this is the second one. So it's more of a nude and it's also kind of glittery but not as much. Like the flecks are a lot bigger in this one. So I wanted to show you guys that. And then now I'm gonna open the third one. This one is a lot more wrapped up actually. So I have a feeling it's gonna be maroon or clear. I don't know. It just feels like that would be something that's next. And it is, oh wow, I'm so off. It's so bright. <laughs> so it's like a very corally orange finish, I would say. So this one is very similar to this. There are glitter specks, but it's actually quite different. It definitely has a sheen to it and I'll do a closer look. So here you can see like the glitter, but like these two are also shiny as well, but it just isn't as big of a fleck. So I'm surprised I got this and I'm actually excited because I do have Chanel like the Le Beige tint, the lipsticks, the mirror, the face mist and all of that kind of stuff. So I actually don't have any Chanel lip gloss products. So I'm really excited to use this. I actually do use lipstick a lot more than anything else other than like eye products. So this is really interesting and I'm really surprised and Lux Lover also didn't know what she was giving out so because she pre-wrapped everything and obviously they all look the same and you can forget what they look like once they're all like wrapped up in this. So um, I'm so excited and a thank you Lux Lover for hosting this giveaway. And I can't believe I won and it feels so surreal. So I'm so happy to get these products. I'm not wearing any lipstick now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try on all of these lip products. So now I'm gonna try on this beautiful one. Let's see how dark it is. I'm so excited because I only have like a MAC Cosmetics dark one and it's really old so it's really dry and cakey when I use it and because this is brand new and I've had other lipsticks from Chanel and I know they're quite buttery and really nice so let's see how this goes. It 
it's a lot more purpley than I thought and it's not as like a dark dark red but look at that it kind of matches my nails too So I really like this, it's so Christmassy. I know like the holidays are over, but this is so nice, especially with white and my nails. This looks so nice. Um, I'm definitely gonna use this during the fall and at night times, like dinners and stuff like that. I actually am digging this and I'm probably gonna be a little bit less shy with dark colors and experiment with a little bit of bright red. I am actually in love with this color. It looks so nice with my dark hair. Of course, it's grown out a little bit. The lighter color is at the bottom, but this looks really nice. Um, thank you so much, Francesca. It was so thoughtful for you to get this for me when you were there and happened to see this artist. It's so beautiful and it just means a lot to me. So thank you so much. So the first one I'm gonna do is Rouge Coco Lip Gloss 119. I don't have the names. I'll put them in the description or somewhere in this video. So this is the most glittery one. This is my first time using lip gloss from Chanel and I didn't know that it looked like that. It has a little dip to it at the top, so. So it has a little bit of a Chanel like fragrance smell to it, similar to the face mist. So it's not too strong if you're like, you know, bothered by fragrances. So I actually am very sensitive and it's fine for me. So this is a very nice light tint. Definitely can wear it day or night actually. This is definitely something I would wear because it's very natural and not too like out there, especially with like really bright red lipsticks. I'm a little bit, I guess, shy with that because it's so bold. So I wanna try on the second lip gloss that I have now. So this one is Rouge Coco Gloss 722. Okay, this one probably has to be my favorite so far out of the two because it's just literally similar to the colors that I normally wear except a lot more glossier. So this is a very subtle and definitely something I'd be okay with wearing every single day. Okay, now I'm gonna try on the third one. And it's super bright, so I have no idea what to expect. Although it is like a sheer gloss, so it'll probably be just a really nice light tint. So this one is Rouge Coco Gloss 744. So this one is really bright. I'm gonna keep going. So this is really just one coat and it does actually brighten up my lips a little bit, but it's not as like bright as this. And this is just one coat, so it's actually not too bad. Also definitely a very summery color I would feel. I'm gonna do another coat just to see what it looks like and how bright it can get. Okay, this is with two coats, so it's definitely a little bit brighter. I'd probably just stick to one coat. But yeah, this is really interesting. Like I said, I don't have any Chanel lip glosses, so I'm so excited to use these in the next year, of course. After COVID lockdown and all of that is finished, fingers crossed, hopefully sometime soon within the new year. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing this sort of, I guess, a Christmas present slash giveaway that I received and I'm so excited to add more Chanel cosmetics and coincidentally I got a ton of lip products and I'm so excited to fill out a little shelf that I can just put all my Chanel cosmetics and I am just growing my collection at this point and I will link everything in the description below that I have shown and of course if I link this below this one won't have all the drawings of course because it's just a special one-off that they had at that store and of course, if you guys haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.